The first principle we would like to discuss is the principle design with the user. This principle builds on the fact that when you build a digital application or a digital solution, it's of course best to take into account the user perspective. If the user is not uh, taken into account from the start, then an application will often be not very uh, well um, developed and the user will actually not like to use the application and you risk to have an application or a solution that will not be used in the end. Um, it's actually not only important to think about the user it in itself, but maybe go beyond and to design even with the ecosystem, I would say, because there is more than only the users. There are also uh, a lot of other stakeholders in an ecosystem often when you do a digital transformation procedure or when you build a tool. Um, so uh, to take into account as well these, uh, these factors um, to build and design really with an ecosystem. As an example, I can give an example from a program that has been run in uh, Rwanda and in Burundi. In Rwanda, the, there was a program um, that focused on using um, SMS for the follow up of pregnancies. Um, and this program had been developed, co-developed as well with uh, with the users, with mothers, with um, the way they they actually reflected on what could help them at what point in time of the pregnancy. And SMS, for instance, could help them um, remember that they have to go uh, do the check, um, as well as for pregnancies with high risks. There was another um, another way of following up, a, a more closely followed up way with more SMS, etc. And it worked very well in Rwanda. There are quite some um, publications on uh, the, the reduction of the um, problems during the pregnancy and even the risk uh, at birth for um, um, childbirth and, and, and uh, dead born uh, babies. However, then the program was also adapted to Burundi, which is just next door where you could say, OK, this is uh, more or less the same country and an organization actually copy pasted the whole model from Rwanda just to, Rwanda, to Burundi to hope that it also would work just in Burundi as it did in Rwanda to reduce the, the number of problems during pregnancies. However, what happened is that the system actually was not checked to, towards neither the users, neither the, the, the ecosystem. So they would otherwise have understood that um, women in Burundi often do not have actually a telephone, um, so actually cannot receive their SMSs themselves. So there are two ways or let's say two, um, two pathways of, or to which they could receive the information. There was one, their husbands often have a smartphone or, or, or a normal phone, uh, um, a feature phone, but they do not always um, communicate when they receive an SMS in their uh, spouse's name. They do not always communicate to their spouse that they need to go to check for the hospital, etc. So this was, a, was an internal problem that, that was um, difficult to solve. The other way to deal with it is through community healthcare workers that are working a lot in, in Burundi. They do have access to future phones and they also get these SMSs, but they also uh, do not pass uh, regularly in all the villages and or with all the um, towards all the women. And that means that there is a delay between the moment that this community healthcare worker receives the SMS and actually tells or gives the information to uh, the, the women. These two elements have made that the system in Burundi was actually completely um, completely not used and had no effect at all on problems during pregnancy or, or a childbirth. Um, and the whole system in the end, although it costs quite a lot of money to copy, to set it up as well in another country, to translate part of the uh, user interface as well, did actually not achieve uh, the goal at all to help um, pregnancies become safer. <clears throat> 